first of all, I think it, it starts with an understanding. I mean, some of what we're talking about here is cultural in nature. You need, you need to get people uh, to a place where they believe they can make a difference, they care, and they do have this sort of purpose that we talked about. You know, they come to work with an interest to make a difference. And it, and it sort of, I think, starts there. And so there's just some general education that has to happen. Uh, but, but it all starts with the, with the customer and that salesperson in front of the customer. Uh, I like to get the marketers involved as well, but it, it's, it's literally at that kitchen table, if you will, between a salesperson and the customer and having them have a different conversation. That conversation about what Keith just described around what is the differential value proposition. We help them have that conversation and methods and, and all of that, but it literally has starts there. Uh, you could imagine for a company of 10,000 employees that has a 500 customers that matter, you know, having 500 of those conversations out in the market, or maybe they start with 50. Uh, but when you, when you start putting 500 of those conversations together in a very organized way, using metrics and the kind of quanti quantitative approach that we're discussing, all of a sudden pictures and themes start to emerge. Uh, sometimes those pictures and themes are consistent with what you thought they would be. Sometimes they aren't. Uh, and the key to getting an organization into action uh, to me is about creating visibility. Uh, and so one of the things we've developed, which is a, a, a one of our big breakthroughs, is software. And so we have a real easy way to house all of this stuff in software, and the software sits and makes this all visible to an organization. So now all of a sudden, you know, a research and development or a customer service person who never ever gets to go sit with the customer and hear it firsthand is seeing it firsthand in a very structured way, and so a way that they can consume and a way that they can act on. Uh, and so I think the very biggest uh, uh, thing that happens, to answer your question, that needs to happen is to create that visibility. Uh, once you start making information like this visible to your organization at large, they'll do things that you never anticipated. Uh, and that's where the, the power of the organization really starts to show up. All of a sudden you have there's 10 people over there working on that problem, and there's 30 people over there working on this problem, and there's one person over here doing something, and things that you didn't anticipate because they want to, right? They want to make a difference. None of us come to work in the morning not wanting to make a difference. Well, not very many of us. <laughs> okay, guilty. <laughs> but not very many of us do. Uh, we, we want to make a difference, and so it's about creating exposure and visibility to the kind of information that is helping their customers and letting them go. Thank you.